Hi, I'm going to give you a quick introduction to the process of finding data and building a model in Autodesk InfraWorks. Let's look at a typical model to see how it's uh, built up. Now first we have the terrain layer, which is a three-dimensional representation of part of the Earth's surface. Then we have photo imagery. So let's turn that layer on. Uh, zoom in a bit. On top of that we have infrastructure such as roads. So here's the roads layer, let's turn that on as well. Now if we uh, zoom in a bit, you can see here that we have uh, selectable roads. And on top of that we'll have um, layers for things such as buildings, uh, street furniture, trees, and so on. Let's find the buildings layer. Here it is. We'll turn that on. And now if we orbit the model, you can see that uh, we have 3D buildings as well. Now let's consider how you can acquire the terrain data, the photo imagery, and so on that you need for your map. Now, the easiest way to create a model is to use the Model Builder Preview, which can automatically generate a model anywhere within the coverage area shown on this map, which as you can see is almost everywhere. Of course, if you understand something about different kinds of uh, geospatial data, you can collect it yourself, either by searching the web for free data from government or local websites, or by contracting with a data provider to capture exactly the data you want. The other videos in this series show you how to use the Model Builder, how to acquire data from government websites, and uh, watching the Data and Layers video is useful as well because that will show you how to bring the data into Autodesk InfraWorks.